with me right now. You're you're kidding. This is a joke. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Zachary Reality here to discuss Bachelor in Paradise. The contestants, Jesse Palmer, they've landed on the beaches in Mexico, and we have gotten all of the tea, as in me, on who is on the beach right now. So we're going to get into it. I have a list of 18 confirmed names on the beach. There's been some spottings, which I'll share in pictures in just a few minutes. But before we get into all of the tea, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here to my channel, please be sure to subscribe, ring the bell so you're updated. It really means a lot. And I appreciate you guys so much for supporting me as I am on this journey of journalism. Now, I want to make it clear that these aren't necessarily spoilers. A spoiler is when two people like fall in love Love or someone gets sent home in regards to Bachelor, we're just confirming like who is on the beach and like the pictures that have already been posted to the internet or some that were sent to me from a couple people staying at the hotel in Mexico. We're really not giving away like who's dating who or anything. But if you don't want to know anyone that's on the beach, now would be the time to exit this video. So let's get right into it. Now they're kind of doing things differently with Bachelor this year. I mean, Jesse Palmer has been posting on his Instagram story that he's in Mexico, he is setting up Wells, who is the bartender this year, has also posted a few things. He's in Mexico, he's doing his thing. And Mike Fleiss, the creator of the show, actually posted a picture of Serene, who was shooting her intro shots for Paradise, which means that Serene is most likely going to be one of the first contestants on the beach, which is super exciting. If you don't remember Serene, she was from Clayton's season of The Bachelor. Um, and Mike Fleiss is the creator of the show, so he does a lot of spoilers, just like semi ones, just to get people excited and talking on the internet. A lot of people don't like him because like sometimes he exaggerates things, but I think he's just doing his job and you know, all hats off to you, Mike Fleiss. I mean, he does give us some spoilers, so we do appreciate that. Bachelor in Paradise has started filming. The contestants are on the beach. There is a few people who are still in Los Angeles or wherever their hometowns are that are like waiting to be flown out. It is about a three week filming process. So I'm sure more names um, will come up over the next few days. Maybe more people will be spotted in Mexico. And I definitely recommend everyone check out Rachel on Twitter. So if you guys don't know who Rachel is, Rachel is staying at the resort in Mexico. She actually has a condo there and she has been tweeting a lot of interesting things on her Twitter, Rachel Dowry. So it's R-A-C-H-E-L-D-O. E-R-R-I-E. -R -R -E. So she has been giving us a lot of spoilers and updates. Um, you know, a few of the things she said is that she's seen Jesse Palmer and Wells at Vindata in the last two hours. Um, she also said the trademark black suburban SUVs are here. She says that Haley Mels from Clayton season is here. Her shoe was untied in the elevator. That's honestly hilarious. She says, they don't let you use your phones at the spa. There was a huge setup of candles and a giant red heart in a blocked off area. She says, I think I just saw Victoria Fuller walking out of the lobby. Not 100% certain, but it was a striking resemblance and she was being escorted by a producer. And I mean, I think she also said she saw Logan from Gabby and Rachel season. She's seen Brandon Jones and a few other people. I'm gonna put all of her tweets up here so you guys can check them out. So it's really great that she's there giving us some insight. I also got another DM from someone at the hotel that Shanae and Rodney were spotted. And that is why I posted on my Instagram Instagram story, this picture of Rodney. So what, what we do have um, besides like hearsay is we have four names that have been spotted and pictured. Rodney is one of them, which was sent to me. We have Hunter from Clayton season that reality Steve posted on his Twitter. We have Lace from um, a long time ago, who was also posted on Reality Steve, but Rachel, the girl I was telling you about, took that picture. Now, Lace was originally on Bachelor in Paradise season three. She was on Ben Higgins season as well. She got kind of the crazy drunk girl edit. And then she went to Paradise. She got engaged to Grant, who was from JoJo season. They got matching tattoos and they broke up like a year later. It was kind of shocking to see Lace because she very much is a blast from the past. But I think that that's cool that they want to bring some OGs back to Paradise this year. And I'm looking forward to seeing some OGs because, you know, there's a lot of new people. We have Katie's season, we have Gabby and Rachel's season, Michelle's season, Clayton's season. But to bring back a few people from a long time ago to spice things up is always super fun. And then the fourth person that we have pictured was Serene, which was on Mike Fleiss's Twitter. So now I do have a list of names 
from an unknown source that I won't say who, I have it written down, 18 names I have of people who are on the beach, confirmed 100% of very reliable source. And these are the names I have been told that are on the beach right now. So we have Kira from Clayton season. We have Victoria F from Peter season. We have Lace, which we already talked about, Rodney Hunter and Haley, who was in um, that girl, Rachel's Twitter. We have Genevieve, we have Serene, Teddy, Justin, Peter, the pizza man from Michelle's season, Andrew S, which is obviously a shoe in and Andrew S is so, so handsome. Shanae, Rick, Pardeep. We have Logan from um, Gabby and Rachel's season, which is a potential spoiler because now we know he doesn't win Gabby and Rachel's heart. Also the twins from Gabby and Rachel's season are obviously gonna be on the beach. And then we have Brandon. Now I'm sure there will be a few more names that will come up over the next few days or some late arrivals. We know that, you know, new people show up each week. I, you know, I'm expecting Olu to be there. I'm expecting Mara to be there. Um, Sally, apparently, you know, she is gonna show up, but she's not there yet. Um, and then I don't really think Cassidy is going anymore. Apparently she didn't want to go or she got cut last minute for whatever reason. So um, that's kind of unfortunate. I was really looking forward to seeing her there. Kate um, from the Oppenheim group. I mean, she apparently is not there yet. She's been posting in LA. She might be going. Same with NC. They might be on standby or whatever it is where they could be like the next girls to be shipped out. I think they're trying to see which connections are there. I mean, I think that Kate Gallivan has to go to Paradise. I mean, she really gives us that connection with Selling Sunset. So I don't know if the producers realize how valuable she is. Like she needs to be on the beach. So hopefully she shows up. A lot of people are also expecting to see Peter, Pilot Pete. Um, he could show up. I don't know if he will. He has kind of been posting on social media. I would love for him to be there. I want everyone to be there. That's going to give us a good show. Blake Moynes might show up last minute. I heard that. But, you know, he also said that he wasn't going to show up. So who knows? Blake is currently on a trip in the Bahamas with Noah and um, Zach Clark. So I think if Blake goes ghost on Instagram, we'll know where he is. And then Aaron and James, a lot of people want to see them there. They, you know, were posting in San Diego at a bar like two days ago. It's possible that they could show up like a week late. I don't really know how strict the quarantine restrictions are. I don't really think they're that strict this year. I think they could fly people out and put them on camera the next day. So I think there's a lot of more names that could come in the next week, but these are our initial 17, 18, maybe almost 20 names that are definitely there, 100% confirmed, reliable source on the beach in Bachelor in Paradise right now. I'm really excited about Paradise. I love it. I can't believe it almost wasn't going to happen. Um, I can't wait to see how this all unfolds. I'm also excited for Gabby and Rachel's season of The Bachelorette. I will definitely do a prediction slash spoiler, you know, speculation video in the next week or two on my channel. So if you guys are new here, please, please subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your predictions. Ring the bell. All my socials are at Zachary Reality. If you guys want to keep up with me on Instagram and TikTok, I post very often on there on my stories and lots more updates with the Bachelor in Paradise sighting. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will catch you guys in the next YouTube video. Bye.